expected Ming to want to go for a hard engage, something like the Leona that the Silas could then steal. And so by going for the Rel, I think that it offers RNG more engaged tools while giving Silas a slightly weaker ultimate to be actually steal away. Not to say that Silas further behind and what he was doing to Willa is now happening to him. Yeah, Willa backstage is rubbing his hands together gleefully right here. Hang Ray on. though does have flash. Gonna get the Spectral more stun here onto Adam. No flashes on Whipper or Adam. There's the flash away from Wei. Niski down towards the bottom side, just getting wailed away on by crying. The flash forward as they look to Jawu. No flash on the cannon either. Wei's trying to get away. Whipper needs the auto attack. Stun's gonna land onto Niski. That's first blood. Wei escapes. Adam and Whippo now level one. Running back to the Push. safe. Or he's maybe even threatening a bot dive. There are zero TPs available right now, and I think the bot dive is the play. Ming's gonna try and get out of here. Gets caught in the middle of his jump. Has to flash. Oh, but Adam is now in trouble. Adam not yet level six, doesn't have the Ragnarok. Turned up with the slicing match from way on his way as well. Adam trying to get out of this. The undertow is going to go back and pick it up. Now takes the flash away. Spectral more. Stun way goes wide. Adam still running for the hills here. Destiny's coming in. A counter Destiny as well. And now Niski's in for a world of hurt underneath the tower. Xiaohu goes and Niski. Destiny is straight to his demise. But such a mess. was level six, and he ends up punishing Adam in the one versus one. He's now going to secure himself more plates. Now let's see if Fnatic can get something back on the cross map. Ming actually going for the engage here. Still going to get stunned up. Hillis and Glow Ignite is taking Gala. Dives forward, and Ming takes the kill. Whippo here a little bit too late. Dragon's Rage kick available, but he misses the Sonic Wave. Now the TP's come in, and Fnatic are trying to make plays on the map. Whippo will be able to take out one, but Zhao who comes in in trying to crystal arrow from Bean. There's the kick. Gala down. Bean survives. Zhao who down as well. And Bean, the substitute, Kill gets... Bean flashes away. We don't have time because we've got more fire. Hillisang has six here. Death and Below is going to land it. Crying going in with the Destiny as well. Death and Below from Hillisang just to try and get away from this Spectral more Flash. Bean stunned up. Wade takes out Hillisang and now underneath the tower. That's the shutdown. RNG answer back. Everywhere on the map so far. Alongside Way, that deadly duo. For the opportunity to find a pick. Way once again, up towards the top side of the map. This man... It's always practice. No, the Whippo's here. Xiaohu doesn't have flash, doesn't have a way to get across here. Sonic Wave once again going wide, but Whippo's on his way. There's the Destiny. Whippo underneath the tower, stun carded up. Spectral Maul just short once again. TP's coming in as Niski tries to join this. And once again, it feels like Fnatic are throwing good after bad here. With the TP coming in from Niski, not really much he could do. Exactly that. It's one of those questions where, like, okay, even if Wei didn't know that Lee Sin was there, the reality was that they had the Twisted Fate ult primed and ready to go. And this is the great thing about Kryon. He's always right behind his team whenever there is action about to happen. And this is how he utilizes the Twisted Fate so well. Now this is a two versus three. Magnus Storm coming out of this TP as well. Stopwatch from Kryon keeps him alive. And Charter Kusai is going to hit onto Xiaohu in the TP immediately. Adam They're just trying to force plays and here comes another one. Looking for Kryon underneath the tower. Bone Skew is going to land. Kryon, no flash, no way out. Shut down, goes over More to Nis. And you have to sit there and ask, was this really worth it? Okay, you will be able to take down the mid tier one, but you're sharing this gold amongst multiple members of your team. Meanwhile, Wei and Gala are going to secure the tower bot lane. Xiaohu secured himself three plates top. RNG overall should be pretty happy with the gold that they gain. Whippo's going to charge in. So that's two towers in the mid lane. But as you say, RNG still very much in the lead in terms of gold. Oh, versus B. And... Uh, Hang on. Everfrost coming out. Ming caught in it. Wasn't intended for him. Here's Hillisang as well. There's the bone skewer. The Kryon who has to flash away. Magnus Storm pop now. And after a moment of self-control, Fnatic lose all of it once again. Gala takes the kill on Zaniski. Xiaohu chasing Hillisang down off towards the top side. Misses with the initial shuriken. So Hillisang should be able to go away. But Xiaohu not <laughs> having it. As far ahead is Whippo. He's been dominating in terms of the jungle. The kills bar. are very different, right? There's a big difference there. Six different kills, but Fnatic... Ooh, Ash Arrow gonna go wide. Um, that could be bad for Jahu. Yeah, okay. Whippo gonna come in and save him there, but Wei is gonna do a lot of single target damage. Look to try and get resets. Oh my god. Hillisang plays on the I edge. I mean, it's just, it's just tank stuff. He gets the kill of Insect, I guess. Ooh. Gala's flash in. There's the Destiny, and the chase is on once again. Crying looking for it but couldn't quite find the gold card tower falls in the top side and rng just continually accepting yeah, themselves good vision and then what happens they try to force a play in mid lane gala ends up getting the kill crying is immediately behind He's showing us why a lot of people look at them as strong favorites for the tournament we're going for the kickback crying here we're locking the gold card niski on his way as well and crying doesn't really have a way to get away from this one no flash for him dodge across the wall with Right now, RNG are the ones pushing forward. Jiao, who has the attract repel on him, and Niski is backing uh, in a bush. He was in the shop, and the stopwatch will only stop time for a second. Niski dies. Jiao, who now on a killing spree. And uh, Whippo doing basically the exact same thing his mid laner did, except without the death. There, it's uh, RNG getting control of the bottom side river.
and uh, with 20 seconds on the Cloud Drake, they should be able to secure that pretty soon. A lot of mistakes from Niski this game. We've seen him overcommit, overforce, and now losing to the shopkeeper, literally, as another fight kicks off. There's a Magnus Sword from Ming onto the back line. Hinosang trying to get away, and Chana Crisolao goes through the uprights, and there comes the Slicing Master. Great kick back by Whipper, but the Rocket Belt is back up. Hillisang tries to get away, will just about escape Destiny from crying on towards the back. Bean's gonna open up, try and get the damage down with the Ash, but already RNG get another couple of kills and uh, work their way straight across towards the Baron. And Fnatic, they don't have their mid laner and they pick a fight 5v4. RNG are just... They don't have to do anything, Fnatic is doing it for oh, them. Oh, they're going for it again. Here we go, TP coming in from crying as RNG. 4,000 HP on the Baron being stepping forward. Adam there as well. There's no smite here for Fnatic, but they still won the fight. Way secures it. Adam down already. Niski down as well. And I can do nothing but laugh because it's so Fnatic to see. 18 kills to 6 now. RNG, Baron buff, game well and truly in control. And after a few early missteps, RNG have totally taken this game out of Fnatic's hands. They certainly have. RNG have just responded so much better. Fnatic, they are not slowing down. Maybe they should. As Whippo looks for the fight. Here comes Xiaohu. And immediately he's turned back around on RNG. Hillisang trying to put the damage down as he can. Can't quite get the stun, but there's the death from below. And maybe they shouldn't. Way now in a 2v1 as Whippo continues to trade in. Ming on his way. A track for Pell will land the stun. Doesn't want to use it yet. Dragon's Rage Kick will knock way back. Hillisang still looking for it. Death from below isn't enough damage. The counter, the Heartbreaker from Way goes wide. And the fight continues as Hillisang in the end falls to Ming. They're going to chase Whippo as well because Way has sold it away. The Phantom under tow. But Niski dives back in. The Slicing Maelstrom to turn it back around. Garlo already unstoppable. And Way still survives. Niski down. Way in the end will fall. Adam trying to chase onto Garlo. He'll get the shot down there. Ming with the crash down. Being low. Adam now in a 2v1. The exhaust will tick away on him, but he will still be able to get a triple kill. Hang on. He's healing up the Undertow crime. Do you have a gold card to lock in? Find one in your stack deck. He'll pull it next with the edge of it. He like can... Oh, he messes it up. He messes up the dive across the wall, but Crying still caught out, and Crying will fall. No, no bad. My apologies. My math is a little wonky Thanks after this game. Yeah. Um, Not really a massive point of contention. The truth is the RNG is just so Hello. far ahead in itemization. Ming going in with the Magnus Storm, Wei is here, Crying's coming in with the Destiny as well, but Ming's already dead, Death from Below is going to find that mark. They're looking to try and chase into Gala, the Slicing Master wants at the back line, is able to get enough. Whippo able to kill off Gala, pop the stopwatch, two of you, as now it's a 3v3, Niski will fall, Adam and Whippo are the only two left alive for Fnatic. The chase continues, Crying, no flash, Whippo able to safeguard across the wall, Adam, no Ragnarok, and Zhao who can chase him down, but with the Undertow, there's the slow, Wei will get the movement speed from the Harrowed Path, Adam cannot get away from the Spectral more, and that is enough. Adam tries to kill off Xiao Hu, but doesn't the top have... top side stands strong. Wei is 8-1-9. Xiao Hu has three fully completed items on this cannon, and they're able to just dismantle the backline of Fnatic. Very well-played team fight from RNG, and they continue to hold on to the gold lead. Yeah, but Hillisai... <laughs> Not going to be able to land the Bone Skewers, the Rocket Belt proctored there by Xiao Hu and... TP Ward behind them. Wei here. Oh, he's on the right side here of Whippo, who is looking for something, but now he's on the wrong side of Dodge. Bone Skewer's gonna land. Whippo gonna dive, waiting arm straight into Garlo, who will take the kill. Crying, looking to pour a little bit more out of this one. There's the kind of instinct from Garlo, and immediately he dives onto the back line, and Bean is down. It's a triple for Garlo, as he wipes away the bottom side of Fnatic's map. And RNG once again punish Fnatic. They wanted to try and find a pick onto Xiaohu, catch him unawares, but RNG had already made their way back out onto the map, and we're primed and ready to make plays happen. 9, 3, and 10 is the scoreline now for Gala, and RNG are making their way into the base of Fnatic. And it feels like now RNG really are slapping Fnatic with their wallets. Fnatic continue to look for a play, but their inhibitor in the bottom lane is down, and RNG... Sorry, but when your AD carry subs out, it's a pretty difficult thing to work around. Baron now. Secured for RNG, good take by Dan Devisa. Powered minions and a wave pushing down mid. They're looking to do more damage to the base of Fnatic. Yeah, Gala's at four items now. Infinity Edge, Kraken, Collector, Rune. Clear that bot wave and then catch this mid wave. Question is, will Gala push forward? And it's only going to land onto Xiaohu. There's the Everfrost as well. Ming, chunked out a little bit. 
At the fire cannon from Klein, putting some damage down onto the tower. And here goes Xiaohu with a slicing master into the Magnet Storm. And Fnatic, a valiant defender. Their base was ended in a heartbeat by RNG. Being down, RNG with a triple kill for Xiaohu. Death below finds nothing. And RNG will clean ace Fnatic in their base. Excellent dive from RNG. They'd had enough of the wave clear from Fnatic. They knew they had the gold lead. They know they have the items. And they know that they have the damage to wipe Fnatic off the map. RNG undefeated in their group, having taken down PSG and Fnatic.